This restaurant seems very posh. I know, I feel somewhat underdressed. Uh, it's okay. You look lovely. Thanks, Dave. Do you know what you're ordering? Honestly, my French isn't great, and so I'm struggling to read the menu. What about this one? Escargot a la bourguignon. That sounds exotic. What is it? I have no idea, but it says it's their specialty. Let's order two of those then. I'll call the waiter over. Oh, yummy. I'm excited. Me too. Let's just hope it's not snails. Don't be silly, Dave. No one eats snails. Good morning, my wonderful fiancé. Ah, I like the sound of that. What do you want to do today, since it's our last day here? I don't mind, but don't forget we still need to get some souvenirs. Maybe we could go into the city center. Oh yeah, good idea. I can look in all the clothes shops. Ah, oh, great. I love shopping. Are you being sarcastic, Dave? No, of course not. <laughs> good. I'll get my bag, and we can spend the day window shopping. Great. I'll just brush my teeth, and then we're good to go. You better not be using my toothbrush again. Our flight leaves in three hours. Are you all packed and ready? Yeah, I just need to finish wrapping some gifts. Oh, okay. Do you need some help? No, I'm okay. I have had such a lovely time. Me too. What has been your favorite thing about Paris? Well, I think you proposing to me on the Eiffel Tower has to win that award. You sure? I mean, getting a plate full of snails was pretty amazing. <laughs> Stop it. It definitely didn't agree with my stomach. Yeah, I can't believe you actually ate them. I didn't want to be rude, and they weren't that bad. Speak for yourself. I swear one of mine was still alive. Well, next time you can pick what we eat. <laughs> How was your first day back at work since our holiday? It was okay. Phil was being annoying, though. As he always is. I think he's struggling with his new baby. Oh, I didn't know he had become a dad. Yeah, I think she gave birth while we were in Paris. Aw, oh, I would love a baby. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Would you like one? Well, I hadn't really thought about it, but I guess I would. Would you want a boy or a girl? I don't mind, as long as they're healthy... I would be happy. Aw, yeah, me too. But I would secretly love a little girl. Are you okay, Sarah? It sounded like you were being sick this morning. Well, you know what you said last week that you wouldn't mind having a baby? Oh, yeah? I haven't really thought about it, but I wouldn't mind. Well, Dave, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Don't wind me up. I'm not. I'm serious. I've done three pregnancy tests. I... Don't know what to say. Well, say something. Are you certain? Yes, Dave, I'm certain. You know, I'm actually quite excited. I hope it's a boy. Haha, <laughs> you said you didn't mind if it was a boy or a girl. I think we're going to need a bigger place to live. Yeah, I think you're right. We will need a space for the new baby. And I don't think the baby would be able to sleep with, uh, Tony Hawk upstairs. You are right, but how can we afford a new place? I'll speak to Phil to see if I can get a raise so we can buy a house. Good luck. I heard they were on about laying some people off. We'll be fine. I'll figure something out. I can always ask my dad to help us. That's nice of you, Sarah, but it's okay. I'll sort it out. I haven't even told him we are engaged yet. Yeah, we said we would wait and tell him in person, didn't we? He gets back next week, so we can go see him and tell him the news then. Well, that went down like a lead balloon. I thought it went quite well. He seemed happy to me. Oh, he normally demonstrates his jujitsu on visitors, does he? <laughs> well, not normally, but I think it means he likes you. I thought he was going to break my arm. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you were rolling around like a bit of a baby. Well, I did have to take it easy on him. Oh, really, Dave? I'll tell him you said that, shall I? No, best not. I wouldn't want to have to show him who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny, Dave. Oh, look, he's phoning me now. Yeah, let's pretend I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Remember, you're a lover, not a fighter. Are you okay, honey? No, I'm not. My back aches and my ankles are swollen. Is there anything I could do to help? Yeah, you can take the trash out. Like I've been asking you all week. I did take it out. Yeah, you took it out last week. 
There's new rubbish every day, Dave. Okay, I'll do it now. Do you want me to get you anything from the shop? Good. Can you see if they have any morning sickness tablets? Sure, what are they called? I don't know, Dave. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, there's no need to be like that. I know, I'm sorry, but being pregnant is exhausting. Are your parents still coming over for dinner tonight? Yeah, they are. Is your mom still coming too? Yeah, she is. Is your sister going to make it? I think so. We will have a full table. I know. I hope they all get on. Well, my mom and sister will probably spend the whole time arguing. And your dad will spend the whole time wrestling me. <laughs> Don't forget you said you were going to show him who's boss. Oh, no, I can't. I, um, twisted my ankle going down the stairs the other day. Haha, <laughs> okay, Dave. Do you think you could help me prepare dinner tonight? Yeah, of course I can. Shall I go and get some bits from the shop? If you could, that would be so helpful. There's a shopping list in the kitchen. Everyone seemed so excited about the wedding at dinner last night. I know. I knew my mom would want to take control of everything, though. Yeah, it was nice of your dad to insist on paying for it. I know. He's old-fashioned like that. Yeah, I thought the whole evening went really well. We just need to actually pin down a date now, though. Shall we wait until after the baby comes and then choose an exact date? Yeah, we still need to look at moving as well. Ugh, there's so much to do. It's okay, don't worry. It will all come good in the end. I hope so. This pregnancy has been so exhausting. Well, there's not long left now, honey. You are due next week. I know. I'm just worried I'm going to be late now. Where's your phone? Hurry up, Dave. I'm hurrying. I need to ring ahead to say that you're in labor. Forget the phone, Dave. Go and get the car. Right. Quick. Get in the car. I'm in. Let's go. Are you okay? No, Dave. My waters have broken all over the car. Don't worry about the car. I can clean it later. Ah, oh, are we nearly there? It hurts. Yeah, we're just a couple minutes away. Can you help me out of the car? I can't believe how long you were in labor for. I know. It was the most painful experience I have ever had, though. Was it worth it? I mean, look at his little face. It was worth every second of it to get this little bundle of joy. What are we going to call him? Well, you know I really like the name Peter. What do you think? Yeah, you know, I like Peter too. Aw, our little baby Peter. He has your nose, you know. Do you think so? I can't believe how small he is. Small? You try pushing him out and tell me he is small. <laughs> do you want to hold him again? It's okay, you can have a little longer with him. He seems at peace with you. Ugh, oh, this traffic is terrible. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fast asleep in his car seat. Don't worry. I had a phone call from our mortgage advisor yesterday. That's great news. What did he say? He said our offer has been made, so we just need to wait and see now. Oh, I hope we get it. It would be perfect for our little family. I think we will. He seemed very optimistic about it. Oh, good. Did he say how soon it could all go through? They're looking for a quick sale, so he said it could be only a couple of weeks. Oh, how exciting. I really, really hope we get it. Oh, wait. I just had a text for him. Ooh, is it good news? Yep, we got it. Ah, oh, amazing. How exciting. Peter is going to have a lovely house to grow up in. I know, but we have got so much stuff to buy. My dad said he would give us some money to help settle in. He has been helpful. I don't know what we would have done without him. I think you are definitely going to have to go with him to jiu-jitsu now. <laughs> I know. I've been avoiding it for so long now. Ah, uh, it'll be fun. And you know he's going to get Peter doing it when he's older. I have no doubt about it. He'll be wrestling bears before we know it. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha ha. On that note, we really do need to baby-proof the new house. Mm, what do you mean? I just mean making it safe so there's nothing he can hurt himself on. Hey, how was your day today? It was okay. Peter's been a bit of a pickle, but apart from that, all good. Oh, that's good. So I found out today our official moving-in date. Oh, when is it? It's two weeks tomorrow. That's the best news. I'm so excited. What do we need to get? Well, 
We can take all our stuff from the living room. Oh, did you not want to get new furniture? We can't really afford it. We are using most of our budget on the nursery. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. I have found a really nice nursery set. Are we going to paint his room? Of course we are. What color do you think? It has to be blue with some nice decorations on the wall. I was thinking green, but I'm happy with blue. Okay, I'll look online and order some nice blue paint. Have a look for a new cot for him as well. I will. When will he need his own bed? We will keep him in with us for at least six months. Oh, okay. Then does he go in a bed? No, he won't go in his new cot in his room until he's about two. I'm sure I was in my own bed before that. Well, knowing your mom, you were probably on the floor. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all. What are we going to do about the kitchen and bathroom? I think the kitchen in the new house is perfect the way it is. Um, yeah, it's okay, but I would like a new cooker. Okay, sure. I'll have a look around. Do we need a gas one or an electric one? It's gas in the new house. The old one was electric. Oh, I see. Shall we get a new TV as well? Can we? Maybe I could get an Xbox as well. I doubt it, Dave. You need to be helping me, not playing games. Ha <laughs> ha, well, I thought I would ask just in case. Maybe for your birthday. It was my birthday last week. Yeah, I mean your next birthday. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. It's Dave. My signal isn't very good. Where are you? We've been waiting ages. The car is broken down. I'm just waiting to get towed. Oh no, are you okay? What's happened? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I think the engine is broken. Oh well, we could do with a bigger car for Peter anyway. I'm really sorry. I'm going to be a while. What are you going to do? It's okay. Don't worry. I'll ring my sister to see if she can pick us up. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll ring you back when I know what's up with the car. That's okay. If I don't hear from you, I'll see you at home later. Okay, say hi to the little guy for me. Love you both. Love you too. See you soon. Hey, sorry. I'm late home from work. That's okay. Have you had a nice day? Yeah, it was okay. Fed up with getting the bus, though. Oh, it's all right. The car should be back soon. Well, actually, Phil asked me today if I want to work from home. Really? Why? They're cutting down on office space, and some employees can work from home. Oh, that'll be nice. You can spend more time with us, then. Well, I will be meant to be working, but they'll never know, I suppose. Haha. <laughs> so are you going to say you will do it? If you want me to, and we've got that office space in the attic that I could use. Don't be silly. We will make space in the living room. I still need to sort this garden out. It did look a lot nicer before we bought the house. Yeah, I think the previous owners had a gardener. Why don't we get one? It's okay, I can do it myself. It'll be fun. Dave, you know you're not particularly good at these things. I am. I used to be a gardener when I was younger. You had a weakened job mowing lawns. I wouldn't quite say that makes you qualified. It'll be fine. Trust me. Okay, Dave. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a number here for a gardener when, if you change your mind. I'll get started on it first thing tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I will remind you in the morning. Hey, guess what? I've got a surprise for you. What is it? I love surprises. I'm bringing someone home to see you later. What do you mean? Call it an early wedding present? Dave, I'm confused. Sarah, I'd like you to meet Doug. Who is Doug? I don't know anyone called Doug. No, this is Doug. Doug the Pug. Aww, he is adorable. He is so fluffy. Isn't he? Do you like him? Aww, yeah, this is the best surprise ever. I'll go and get Peter. Is your sister really bringing Phil as her plus one? Yeah, I think so. Why? I'm just unsure of how I feel about our boss being at the wedding. I know. My sister always did have strange taste in men. Well, it's your fault for introducing them. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to hit it off like that. Well, Phil could soon be your brother-in-law. Ha ha ha. I don't know why you're laughing. After the wedding, he will be yours too. Oh no, I hadn't thought about that. Ha <laughs> ha, it will be okay. Right, I need to go to my mom's to get ready for the big day. I'm gonna miss you. I'll see you in two days. 
I love you. I'll see you down the aisle, future husband. I vow to always be your best friend. I promise to forever be truthful. I vow to always celebrate us. I promise to communicate. I vow to support you always. I promise to always stand by your side. I vow to be forever faithful. I promise to always make time for you. I vow to love you through thick and thin. I promise to respect you forever. I am eternally happy to be your husband, Anna. I am eternally happy to be your... Wait, who's Anna? Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Dave. Hey, nice to meet you too. I'm Sarah. Are you enjoying your first day at work? Um, it's okay. I am quite nervous though. Oh, don't be nervous. Everyone here is really lovely. I know. All my new colleagues have been really welcoming.